Hi, welcome to my channel, Cooking at Home with Luca. I am Luca, and today I got something exciting, beautiful, fantastic for you. We are going to try our hands and we're going to make a deep dish pet pizza. That's right, a deep dish pet pizza. And then we're also gonna make a uh, traditional, old school, original margarita pizza. So if you're excited and ready like I am, let's get rolling, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with one cup of warm water. We're gonna add two teaspoons of active dry yeast into the water. We'll give it a quick stir, and then we'll let it sit in there until it activates about three to five minutes. Okay, we're gonna start mixing in our flours for the uh, deep dish pizza. I'm gonna be using bread flour, all-purpose flour, and pizza crust flour. So we'll start off with one and a half cups of bread flour, three quarter cups of pizza crust flour, and a half a cup of all-purpose flour. With the dough hook attached to our stand mixer, we'll give all the flours a stir to combine them. And at the same time, we will throw a sprinkle sprinkle of salt for a little bit of extra taste. All right, now that our flour is nice and combined all together, we can go ahead and add our water yeast mixture into the stand mixer. So pour that right in there, beautiful. Uh, at the same time, we're gonna add about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Throws it, gives that dough that beautiful uh, texture, beautiful taste, fantastic, love it. Uh, so set the stand mixer down and you wanna mix it on uh, medium speed, five, 10 minutes, depending on how long it takes. If you see that your dough is coming out too wet, uh, add a little bit more flour. I use the all-purpose flour. If you think that it's coming out too dry, add a little bit of water, maybe a teaspoon at a time until you get that nice doughy consistency. All right, now that the dough has been made, I covered it with uh, some cling wrap, uh, cellophane wrap. I put it in a warm place and we're gonna let it rise double in size. Takes anywhere depending on the warmth of the area of your home that you're in, where you're at, sun's out, whatnot. It can take anywhere between half an hour to an hour and a half, two hours, all depends. So you keep it up, keep an eye on it, and you wait till it doubles in size. And that's when you can go ahead and get ready, start kneading it out, putting it in your pan, get into cooking it. Now at the same time, I didn't film it as I didn't want to do the same thing twice and bore everybody, but I made my second dough and that uh, is going to be for the pizza margarita. The first one that I made that I showed you was for our deep dish pizza, our deep dish pepperoni. Now, the second one that I made, I changed it just a little bit. Instead of the bread flour, I used zero zero flour. Now, with the bread flour, because there's more gluten, uh, it'll get a little bit more fluffier, more like, like bread would be. Now, I, it's fine, you can use bread flour either or, it doesn't matter, but because with the margarita pizza, I wanted a little bit more uh, crunchy, I substituted the bread flour for the zero zero flour. That's what I like to do. If, uh, if you wanna go ahead and make them both with the bread flour, it's perfectly fine. Go ahead, experiment. That's what this is all about. Cooking at home, experimenting, cooking with love, and getting great new recipes that we could all share with friends and family. So now that that's uh, both have been made and put aside, we go on and start getting our sauce ready, and then we'll chop up our uh, all the cheese, the pepperoni, and stuff that we're going to be using for the pizzas. If you're excited? Let's get rolling. Throw it in, turn our pan. To high. Throw in about a third a cup of water. A couple of uh, tablespoons of olive oil. A bit of black pepper. Throw in a bit of garlic powder. Some Italian seasoning. And uh, 
some parsley flakes. Give it a stir. So we're gonna let that bring it to a boil. We'll let it turn down the heat then to about medium low, and then we'll let it sit. All right, so the cheeses I'm gonna be using are uh, extra old cheddar and mozzarella. Now the extra old cheddar, I'm gonna use the entire block here. That's gonna go on the deep dish pepperoni, along with a little bit of mozzarella. Now for the margarita, it's just the mozzarella. So we'll now get ready, chop them up into, uh, into cubes. All right, so our sauce is ready to go. Our uh, cheese is prepped, our dough is good to go. So now all that's left is to put it together and put it in our oven. So here we got our, uh, this is gonna be for the deep dish, obviously, of course, according to the pan that you see here. See how nice and big it, obviously, as soon as we touch it, it'll deflate a bit. But you'll see the difference with the bread flour and the AP flour, uh, sorry, excuse me, the zero zero flour, the difference in the size of the dough rising, which in turn, gives you that difference that I like, right? With the deep dish, I like the thicker, more a little bit more fluffy. And then with the uh, margarita pizza, I want it a little bit more crunchy, nice and thin. And that, that is the difference. That's why I go ahead and use those different type of flours. But anyways, let's go ahead, let's start getting this together. So I got my deep dish pan, uh, canola oil, uh, vegetable spray, so we don't stick. Give it a quick spray. Get our dough. All right, same concept uh, for the margarita as the other one. It's the way I like to do things here. This one's going to be circular I uh, will coat the bottom of the pan there's our dough as you can see it's a little bit different this here I'm going to flour my hands a little bit Ready to get started on uh, topping our deep dish. Just give it a little pat down, get rid of any air bubbles that may be lingering in the dough. Then we'll give it a little uh, squirts of olive oil. Go ahead and brush the olive oil across the surface of the dough, covering the whole part. Uh, six slices of salami on the bottom. Then we want to go with our cheese. You want to cover the entire surface of the pizza with your cheese cubes. Make sure you hit the edges of the pan. Very important to give it that crispy golden crust. Uh, then three racing stripes of sauce right across, left to right, or right to left. Uh, then you're going to top it off with your uh, pepperoni right across the whole surface and finish it off with a dash of olive oil. Same concept with margarita, brush the entire surface of pizza with olive oil, with your sauce start in the center, go around circular motion, coating the entire surface of the pizza, add your sliced mozzarella and then the cubed mozzarella within the center, top with the fresh basil. Bake both pizzas at 500 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes until cheese is golden brown. There you have it, beautiful deep dish pepperoni pizza along with a nice margarita pizza. Beautiful, fantastic, great for entertaining, evening for the family, friends game, beautiful. Don't forget that, that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell so you get alerted when I upload new and exciting fun recipes just like this one that you can share with friends and family. Till next time, tutta tavola a mangiare. Ciao.